top of the thigh. And then release the arms if you can, coming forward. As you come forward, tuck the toes under, lift the hips, downward dog. Step the feet back a little bit. Keep lengthening your spine, not just, you know, using your shoulders more, but lengthen the lower back, okay? Someone's lifting your hips up, get that stretch all the way into your lower back. Looking, be or sorry, we'll come into plank. And then we're trying to bring the left knee towards the elbow or the upper arm. And then we'll step the left foot forward and have your blocks. Turn your right foot out. Sweep the top arm up, Uttita Parzo Panasana. And really keep that feeling of the belt. Roll that flesh of the buttock on the left side towards your right heel. Left sitting bone moving towards the left heel. The flesh moves away. And then we'll turn back. We're in that lunge. As we step our right foot up, you might take your belt on the way up. So here, you know, if you really feel off balance, always, you know, have the wall, a chair nearby. Be mindful of the blocks. You have to bring your foot down so you don't Twist an ankle. And you could, you know, you could just loop the belt around your shin and stay here. If you can, around your foot. Extend the leg forward and up. Keep the standing leg straight and firm. So it's better to bend the top leg a little bit and have your standing leg very firm. As we bring the right leg forward and up, have that feeling of the belt rolling that outer hip down. And then as we re release the leg and remove the belt, we'll step all the way back into that lunge. All the way back with the left leg into plank, from plank into Adha Mukha Svanasana. Coming down onto the shins, untuck the toes. If you need to, right, you're opening the knees out wider. If you can, knees stay together as we press the hips back. And then we'll come back to sit on the heels. Take support if you need. And just for a few breaths, turn the palms to face up. Roll the shoulder bones back. Lift the front armpit chest. Soften the throat, the jaw, the eyes. Keeping the front throat soft, bring the chin towards the chest as the sternum lifts up. So lift the sternum to meet the chin, not hanging the head. So the head comes down to meet the chest. The chest lifts up to meet the chin. Watch that the front ribs don't poke forward. When you do that, 